Hi! You can see behind me how I store and organize my full sheets of cardstock. But I often get asked, what do you do with the scraps? Well, today I'm going to share with you the simple system I use to organize my cardstock scraps. My simple system to organize cardstock saves me time and cardstock. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 17 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So I'll show you the color system that I use that'll be easy to adapt to your preference. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I think in color collections, the neutrals, the brights, the subtles, and the regals. So my first system, well, what I did was I took a page protector and put all the scraps from one family into this. Well, as you can imagine, this quickly became so full, it was just too much work to dig through to look for the color I wanted and the size. And so I would just end up going to my full sheets of cardstock and cutting on them, creating more scraps. I thought, okay, something has to be done with this. This is not working. And then I had all these in a binder. And so I stopped doing the system of all the colors together and started using instead the six by eight cellophane bags. You get 50 of these. And so I gave each color its own bag. Boy, that just made such a difference. And so before I do anything, unless I'm doing a card base, I go to the scraps first to see if there's anything I can use. And so anything that's under a half a sheet of cardstock, if it's a half a sheet of cardstock or more, it goes with my full size cardstock. And so I go there first, of course, if I'm going to do a card base, but anything less goes into one of these cellophane bags. And so then all I did was inexpensive ba um, these baskets. I think you get these at Walmart too for a dollar. It used to be, you know, this has been 17 years, so it could be more. <laughs> but each um, collection gets its own bag. And so there we go. I mean, each, yeah, each collection gets its own basket and then each color gets its own bag. And so it's just really easy to go through and uh, find this. Now, you know, if you don't recognize the colors just by looking at them, you can go ahead and make a tag for each one. Look what I did here for the pool party. So all I did was take the everyday label punch and you know fold it in half, write the name on it. So these are light, so I was able to write with the black journaling pen. But for the darker colors, you can go ahead and use the white chalk marker so you can see them and staple that on. And, and this just has worked so well for me. And it's a lot of fun what ends up in here. Um, this was probably left over from a project and so I still put that away because not only does it save me time having it all organized so well, it's saved a lot of cardstock, but it's also given me some creativity because maybe I've come over here and find this and go, ooh, this, this could look really well or gosh, maybe I should do some embossing. And I save even the thin ones. You know, these come in handy more often than you would think. It's like, oh boy, to cut that size, you know, you can do it, but boy, it's sure nice to come over and find one. Or this is a great size, a lot of times just for a greeting, right? And something else that has happened, besides finding something already in a shape like this, you know, um, it's like, oh, that will look really good too. So like I said, I just go ahead and put these away. So that'll be in there and I may go for my scraps, go, oh my goodness, that will be perfect. Or I, I like things to be nice and even, so when I layer, I tend to, you know, always do even all the way around, but every once in a while I've gone over and grabbed a piece that was not quite the size I needed, but when I put it on my card, you know, playing around, it's like, ooh, I like that. So my scraps have also increased my creativity, like I said, while saving me cardstock and a lot of time by giving each color its own 6x8 cellophane bag and each color collection its own basket. So whatever works for you, you know, if you think in color collections like I do, or I know there are those who want all of their greens together, all their blues together, all their reds and such, but whatever, th this has worked incredibly well for me and it might for you too. If you need to get your cardstock scraps under control, perhaps my system to organize them will help you. And if you'd like more of my stamping tips, well, I invite you to subscribe to the Stampers Insider. It's your free stamping source for inspiration, information, and ideas. Just go now to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe.
I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.